Hi, my name is Paul Graber. I'm going to be talking about voice over IP vulnerabilities. It's fairly well known that voice over IP and uh, the uh, protocols that work with it uh, aren't particularly secure. Uh, but today I'm going to demonstrate uh, a couple different methods uh, in ways of uh, interfering with uh, voice over IP. Uh, it's a little bit of know-how. It's, it's uh, relatively simple. It's a handful of uh, protocols that are used by uh, voice over IP. The one we're going to be working with is SIP, um, probably one of the more common ones. Uh, so basically we're going to have um, two clients uh, talking to one another and uh, from another machine um, on the same network. I'm going to uh, demonstrate a flooding technique and a uh, what's called RTP injection. And uh, both are uh, definitely can be detrimental to a uh, SIP conversation. And uh, see how it goes. First, I'm going to show RTP flooding. Uh, this is essentially where, um, within a voice over IP conversation, I uh, pick one of the clients and uh, completely flood it, um, flood uh, their IP in a particular port. Uh, with packets. All right. So I'm going to be using Backtrack 5, a Linux distro with uh, some uh, hacking tools, I guess you could say, built in. And uh, so I'll be using RTP flood for this uh, experiment. So basically just type in the command here. So essentially what this will do is uh, I'm going to put in the source IP and the destination IP and um, let's see here we'll put in the source port and the destination port and how many packets and then basically just put in the uh, sequence number and timestamp and SSID which I just put all ones in for you can see here it's sending all the packets rapidly I just did it 500 times just to show an example but you could of course do many more and uh, let's see here, that's pretty much it. So here in Wireshark, which is a uh, packet analyzer, you can see all of the uh, packets that came down to the client and uh, on that specific destination port. And that's the uh, port that uh, voice over IP communicates on for it. And uh, it can uh, pretty much uh, prevent any outgoing calls and uh, can occasionally stop a conversation as well. Next, I'm going to demonstrate RTP injection. And what happens here is uh, you can select an audio file uh, and basically inject it into the conversation on uh, one side of the conversation. Uh, basically, it works like this. So here is the RTP inject application. And uh, basically, you select what audio, audio file you want to use. I just uh, picked out one of the sound effects here. And uh, then you just pick your source and destination when it pops up when there uh, when it detects a uh, voice over IP conversation. And uh, then you just click inject, and uh, you'll see in a moment what happens. Um, in this case, it it doesn't actually play the file completely. It just kind of interrupts the uh, the conversation. This is what happens on the uh, client, which is uh, getting the injected audio file. Hey, yeah, how you doing? Hey, Paul, I'm good. How are you? Well, I'm on my way over. And, uh, so how uh, was your day? Oh, I had a really good day, thanks. It was pretty rainy, but otherwise, it was a great day, and I'm really happy. Paul, I can't. Paul, I can't hear you. Paul, are you there? As you can see, unsecured voice over IP communications can easily be interrupted. There are ways around it though. Uh, encryption is one of the more obvious ones. And uh, just designing your network architecture properly uh, with something such as IPsec uh, can completely, uh, I shouldn't say completely, but mostly prevent issues such as these. Thanks for watching.